we can handle just one ship. This ship is actually pretty good at, uh, yeah, combat. Are you dead? Oh, come on. He's got, like, one shot left. There we go. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me in No Man's Sky. I was just trying to get somewhere to start the stream. Or not the stream, the video. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> just, But, uh, yeah, we got this. So, um, yeah. What's up, buddy? Yeah, select you. And you say... Oh, you're just one of the trader guys, aren't you? Uh, to trade, yep. Yeah, trader doesn't speak like the other merchants I've met. They appear to be specialists carrying the most unusual items. Oh, they have a relic. What, what does that get us? And Geknip Sodium. Let's go for the relic. We've got the money. I know we were supposed to get a... Um, I was going to get the multi-tool, but yeah, we don't have enough money now. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, we'll have to go look. Uh, the trader sends me the relic and leaves, happy to have spread whatever it is they think they're spreading. Okay, so what the heck is that? A relic? Um, yeah, over here. A relic. Relic, relic. Uh, did he just give me one of these? For, like, 800,000 credits? Because this I think I got just a minute ago. I was talking to the base computer, but I thought I was recording it. It wasn't recording the audio correctly. So I, I made a base computer over on the last planet so we could mark it, the one where we were in the at the end of last time. Um, over... Yeah, over there. I put the base down somewhere over there. But it is... Yeah, there it is. It is a nasty planet. It's got sentinels, but there are volcanoes. So for our like evil genius or whatever villain this secret base it's got volcanoes but they're they're very volcano-y <laughs> I was uh, yeah glad I got out of there but then we had this one that we hadn't checked out in the last episode it is a verdant planet which is very similar to a but it's like an earth planet with rings almost so I kind of wanted to check it out just to see because you know, everybody always wants Earth-like planets, so we're going to go have a look. Planets are always further away than they look. <laughs> I don't know, I expect them to be smaller than they are. So, a verdant planet. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting the, the floating islands, because from what I've heard, they're only on paradise worlds. But, yeah, it's an Earth-like planet. At least it looks like it from above, with rings. Yeah, the colors from above don't always match the colors on the planet once you get to it. Yeah, it's a little yellowy with some blue plants, but it's pretty darn close. I mean, as far as Earth-like planets go, in No Man's Sky, I think this would qualify blue sky, but with rings. So this wouldn't be a bad place for, I don't know, like a summer home or most, or like a tropical resort, kind of. Do a, a Flossed in Paradise, but not a starship, an actual location. Ooh, look at this. It's like a lagoon. Ooh, yeah, that'd be cool. Look at that, there's like a, a tunnel. It's, it's being all weird. The graphics don't like the water. <laughs> They're like, ooh, the water is too much. Yep. That's too much for my poor computer. Can I fly through here? It's getting a little small. Oh. Can you crash your ship? We're gonna find out. Uh-oh. We land it. Land it. I don't care. Anywhere I can land it. And then we will summon it elsewhere. <laughs> oh man. Right, get me out of here. What are these things? I should scan these while I'm in here. All right. Yeah, Let's scan that. Yeah, this stuff is all over on planets. But is... what does it have in it? It's got cobalt. Yeah, cobalt's useful for stuff. I don't remember what for. But we do want to eventually start mining cobalt, probably. I'm just trying to kind of clear my path. Yeah, let's get out of here. Um, which is the way out? Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm not doing so well at the beginning of this video. Um, what are you? Are you anything I can have and not get a marrow bulb? Aren't marrow bulbs identified? Oh, I thought you were... Oh, yeah, marrow bulb. Are you something special? 
What is this? Oh, it's just a mineral. I haven't analyzed. Thought it was a bush. Kestite. And no. So, view discovery. I don't care about the discovery. I'm trying to get out of the dang cave. How did I get in here? <laughs> oh, man. Well, that goes up. Up is usually a good sign. And then we can just dig our way out if necessary. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, aren't you guys glad I recorded this? Yeah, we will make our own way out. Um, whoops, wrong button. This one. This should do it. We'll, we'll use the enshrouded method. <laughs> well, I guess it's the Minecraft method. That's where it got started. Get lost in a cave, just mine your way out. It's the, uh, it's the old conundrum. You know, if you dig your, if you find yourself at the bottom of a hole, you know, you got two choices. You can keep digging or you can stop digging. And, you know, one's going to get you somewhere and one's not. Yeah, it's, it's very Earth-like, I think. Except the sky eels. <laughs> the sky eels are not so Earth-like. But cool. I like sky eels. What do you call it? Bester Beatty. Are you a bug? I don't know. It kind of looks bug-like. Almost like a millipede. And these guys. Yeah, all kinds of things. Scanning stuff is a good way to get nanites too, as you get the nanites, as you guys saw from the Nexus, if you're not aware. I know a lot of people are. I know, I'm just wandering around now. Um, just kind of aimless. Whoa, that was a shooting star? That was cool. Yeah, what are those things? They do like their, their weird sky critters. Bunch of... No, I scanned it all. Alright, let us... Should we save this one? suppose I probably should, huh? Just in case. Uh, we'll name you Earth with Rings or something equally descriptive. <laughs> yeah, you. So now we've got a volcano base and an Earth-like with Rings base. Yes, claim it. Sure. I mean, I'm not really hunting the best site right now, although this is where that weird tunnel that almost killed me is. So, <laughs> there is that. We might have to repair our ship. Um, and then, yeah, we will name you uh, Earth with Rings. Yeah. It's like a, a dish you order at a fast food place. You know, like onion rings, Earth with Rings. That was, that was not a very good joke. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We need to get our ship out of the freaking cave. Yep, that oops. I clicked a little early. Are you going to be okay landing on that rock? I don't know. I don't have time to do a teleporter. I don't really plan on setting up a base here, but just in case I ever want to come back for any reason, I can. So, we are instead... We do need to get cadmium, but I also need to get magnetized ferrite. Yeah, those lines, like I looked it up, there's like this thing of speed lines when you're boosting, but that's not what that is. Like those, the lighter lines, they all go in the same direction, like, you know, the way I'm heading, those are the speed lines. But those big lines, that is something going on weird. Yeah, those like flickery ones that crisscross all over the screen. Um, yeah, there's this. Is that a paradise planet? Oh, high radio source planet. That's right. Oh, yeah, I did want to look at that one for uranium. And it's got sodium, which was something we need to mine, too. And we need to set up oxygen mining, which we can set up in a lot of places. We'll probably set up the oxygen wherever we set up our um, magnetized ferrite. You know, combine it all into one. Oh, those are very... Those are like the channel colors, almost. Except a little too yellow and the, the greenish... Or what, the bluish is a little too dark. But still, what do you got? Gold. Yeah, that's the thing. Asteroids all have gold or silver or uh, what's the other one? Like deuterium or something? Like the starship fuel stuff. I'd not get anything from that one. I don't know. So we are... where Magnetized ferrite is on kind of any kind of planet. So I should probably check these planets. I mean, not any kind. This is the one we were just on. I didn't even look though. Yeah, 
does not have magnetized ferrite. It's kind of rare. So I'm going to go hunt for that because I need a source of magnetized ferrite so I don't have to keep mining my own um, my own ferrite dust because that just takes forever. And buying it is not reliable enough. Did you not scan? Yeah, the ones that are behind other ones. No. Salt. Really? Salt? Okay. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Well, we got a threat detected. So we can take this dude out. And I think we get a bounty for it. Oh man, yeah. I need to fix that. Um, hold E to tag, huh? Hundred thousand dollar or hundred thousand credit reward. Do we get that right away, or do we um, have to turn it in? I don't remember. He's way over here. Yeah, I think I know what is causing it. It's the particles. It is the the speed lines, isn't it? It's just like some of them. I don't know. For some reason, it gets that other line through it. Yeah, it's like parallel to the speed line. He's still out of range? He looks like he's right freaking there. Right in... How many are there? Whoa. Oh, he's over here. Yeah, I want that one. Right? Isn't that the one I want? Eh, you get back here. Eh. Come on. Right? Aren't you the one? Pirate transponder? I think I've... Okay, it was just the one. I thought I saw another ship. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it was a different one? Gex standing increase. That is wonderful. I haven't found any good planets in this system, so I'm gonna probably head to the space station and... Yeah, turn this... Well, I, I think I've got a few bounties, so I can turn those in and make some money, hopefully. And then we'll see where we go from there. I'll catch you in a second. All right, so those pirate bounties, you got to go to the mercenary guild envoy, which is this guy here. So yeah, in this space station, I think they're all set up basically the same. They are a little different, at least, you know, in looks, but yeah, they're, they're I think, similar setup. Either way, yeah, you talk to any of these guys, it says, and you can uh, redeem. Aren't I redeeming? No, yeah, we got to go to starship inventory. Oh, you don't? Donate? Okay, donate to guild. What? Possession of... Yeah, it applies. So, turn it over to an envoy. Collect any associated bounties. Receive one standing. Or we can sell it for... Like... Okay, so we have five, so you'll only take three of them. So two of them are not bounties for you. That must have been when we d uh, did that freighter battle. Uh... I guess we'll donate one. Standing, okay. So, is standing more important or is money more important? Well, we'll get a couple standing. Should we do more? I mean, we're going to get a bunch of these, aren't we? It was only 400,000. It's not like a whole ton of money. All right, yeah, we'll do that. And then, yeah, what do we re redeem? It says redeem. How do we redeem? What sort of currency do they take for redeeming? Oh, I see. So, your credit. So we got one credit. I see. And then, yeah, free for initiate and above. Oh. I see. So you get free supplies or, like, yeah, stuff that you can't buy multi-tool expansion slot. Yeah, okay. Infra knife module. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, uh, we'll have to check the other systems to see uh, who those ones belong to. Uh, if we can redeem them. Was this? This is the space station, I believe, where the multi-tool was. So, I mean, it's, it's not guaranteed to be here again. But... That's definitely not it. And it's got the leather on it. Yeah, these ones... Or, yeah, C-Class. I don't want to look at C-Class junk. Is it really? You, you put the same one on both sides? You suck. Okay, well... Uh, from what I have heard, I don't know if it's true or not anymore. But, uh... 
Yeah, from what I heard, that the like multi-tool pool is based on the system. So, like at the Nexus, it'll pull from the same pool, or at least that's how it used to be. I don't know if it still is or if that it ever was like that, because I didn't really, obviously, do any testing to you know, <laughs> verify that. I just that's what people were saying back when I was more into No Man's Sky. So we will check. Yeah, they seem a little bit better. I turned down some settings. Yeah, I never see that pop up in time. Oh, space. That's right. We do are supposed. No, I guess they aren't better. Maybe they're even worse. All right, I'm gonna have to go back to the other setting I had it on, but I might need to go ahead and. There's like a mod you can get. I don't know if it still works, but we shall. Yeah. Yeah, bring new. Okay, we'll do that while we're here at the anomaly, because why wouldn't we? And we should also look. Uh, do you have some more salvage data? Not much, though. So we will go ahead and look, though. If we can get anything cool. What is that? Is that something? This one? What is the? Oh, that's the uh, expedition thing. That's right. I don't want to mess with that right now. So we just want to talk to Nada. We have news of Artemis. And we have to go put up a bunch of uh, repeater beacon things. Not a saw a signal. Traveler friend, did you connect with Artemis entity? Yes, we did. Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have... Um, it seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this entity, traveler friend, but Nada advises caution. Ask who Artemis is. Since Nada seems to know. <clears throat> Artemis Entity was, is, a traveler entity, one like you. Nada has made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis Entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis Entity to be. Or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules, and they wish they would punish us. Not really sure how they don't acknowledge the rules. Is it because they are, like, always teleporting in places? Is that what they're all annoyed with? Because it doesn't seem like they do a whole heck of a lot other than just be a space station. You know, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, yeah, Exocraft we'll get into. I don't, I'm not trying to invite that dude. He's standing right in the way. It's really annoying. This one. We want to get... What was it I was trying to make? There was something... Oh, do we not have access to it yet? Because uh, we got that... This we don't really need yet. Or is it... Yeah, maybe we don't have the ability to learn it yet. We have to learn it another way. There was something we need. Oh, the uh, wiring loom. That's the one. Yeah, I don't... It's not here. So it's either elsewhere... Is it in here? I don't see it in here either. I thought this stuff was all pretty much like... We're building very unique things. Or else for mostly selling. Like, especially this stuff, I think, is just for selling, isn't it? I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong, which I probably am. Circuit board. No, you do need this stuff for building, like, the higher level. But yeah, where's the wiring loom? I guess I can't learn it yet. What do you... Yeah, it's the, it's the same exact one. Like, is it? Or is it higher level? Nope. Same exact. Okay, so this is not. This can't be the system. Oh man, let's we'll go back and look at the videos. Oh, uh, is there anything over here we can get? We needed. Oh, did I get all these? Yeah. Okay, I got all those. So we need these next. But we don't have that much. Yeah, and I got more of these. I should go build some. And ramps we'll need if we do those snapping ones. Um, what else? Yeah, this stuff. Got all this stuff, so now we need... What's the next sort of stuff we need? That? No. Mm. What is this stuff for? Dish reception antenna. I never messed with any of this stuff. Yeah, this is all new to me. I mean, very, very well may have been in the game, but... I did not do any of this. Is this just... Oh, is this for... 
Yeah, decorative. Okay, for like, just clutter, basically. No. <clears throat> We're not doing any clutter. Not yet. <laughs> decorative. Yeah, okay. No decorative. Not yet. Yeah, the aquatic. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be getting into the aquatic anytime soon. We should get... Does this one fly? Nomad. Does the nomad fly? Or does it... I think it just floats on top of the ground. It doesn't, like, actually fly fly. Kind of like a hovercraft. Yeah, I don't think they have any flying exocraft. So you have a spaceship if you want to fly. <laughs> um, we got the car, though. Or is this more of a motorcycle? Is that what it is? I think that is what it is, but it's like a... Or this is the motorcycle. I don't know. One of them is. Either way, nothing I really want to get right now. Um, so we'll head back and look for the mines, but I will cut it all out, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, so I managed to refind it. The... Yeah that guy and I did go and get us a little bit more money so we're gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna just outright buy it because what's the difference 300,000 ish yeah we'll just buy it for now because it doesn't have all the stuff on it that we need because ours has oh it switched to that one automatically dang it. um I forget that it does that uh, over here right that's how we get different multi-tools. We want this one, because I need to check what it's got on it as. So advanced mining laser, yeah, the terrain manipulator, I think the mining beam, yeah, the scanner, and the analysis visor all come standard. It's got those three, and then, yeah, those. Alright, so we need to install all that stuff on the new one which is going to take a little bit of finagling all right so here we want to install oh we can't we don't have that one the uh this is oh that's advanced mining okay that's what i was trying to install but we already have that so we need the terrain tool go over here i think yep terrain tool I've got that. And that I can make the... Was just one? I should have... I never look at the numbers of things. I think it's just one. Yeah, for this. Because that's a very necessary tool. And then we need... So we'll go ahead and put this there. Alright, we need those two things. And we need... This there. Uh, we have that one. Magnetized ferrite. Yeah, I did actually just set up a mine for magnetized ferrite. I think it should be up and running. And that needs two wiring looms, quantum computer, three magnetic resonator. I don't remember any of that <laughs> as soon as I closed it. Alright, that is over here. Was. Um. We can find it. Oop, we don't scroll right if they even have it. Was it two or three of these? Well, this is... Yeah, this is a pretty cheap place for them. We'll go ahead and grab three. Always just save it for later. Oh, but you don't have the other things, do you? Yeah, I did remember what you can do is sometimes, yeah, if there's ships landed, you can go check if they have it. All right, and what else did we have available? The bolt caster. But this one has... Scatter blaster. Hmm. I don't think I like the scatter blaster. Yeah. I'm gonna dismantle that. And we're gonna install bolt caster instead. We've got everything for that. That way we've got a weapon if we need it. But we don't usually. That should be fine. Yeah, this should be a much better tool now. Damage potential... Why did it go down so much? Oh, because we took off the scatter thing. So we need to get the yeah things for that. But that's going to require nanites. So we need to do something about nanites. I'm going to look into that. Because there's got to be... 
Don't they have missions? There was a dude who had missions, right? Was it not up here? Um, I don't know if this is the system. Is it the bounty dude? It's probably the bounty dude, right? You. It's not you. Oh, do you? I've got some stuff of yours. Will you take it off my hand? Hands? Because... Yeah. It's taking up room in my inventory. That's good. Standing with the Viking increased. And give me language help since I'm sitting here talking to you. Uh, yeah, we'll go aggression. These guys are the warrior types. I think. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't have... Oh, wait. Yeah, you are... Do you sell the stuff? Starship research, no. It's gotta be this guy then, right? You sell the stuff. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, upgrade modules. So those, yeah, you buy them for nanites. So bolt caster. Hmm. I guess we'll go with this. 175. What did I? Oh, I spent it on starship stuff. I got the um, the landing gear for the water, so we can do that. We can install this in multi-tool under oh we gotta open it I forgot about that do we yeah install can't we install it here yeah under the bolt caster so it gets an adjacency bonus I think that's or actually what we want to do is put this can we move you yeah we can move you here this we will put um I don't know, we'll put this here. And yeah, this doesn't matter so much. We'll put you here. Alright, I think that should be good. Starship, may as well check that while we're over here. I think that's about the best we can do at the moment. Oh wait, this works better here. That that works better, maybe. Er, and yeah, so we are good to go. Why can't we get this one? That's a way better one. <laughs> it's so annoying. They do that on purpose, I bet. Okay. Well, now we are off to. I'm gonna go um, wrap up the stuff I've been doing with the mines. I've got an oxygen and a magnetized ferrite mine I've been working on and I will get back to you guys momentarily. Well, I feel like I should welcome everybody and again almost. I'm on day two of the video. Um, so far, as far as you guys know, <laughs> we've gotten the new multi-tool and um, what else did I do? I don't remember. <laughs> so what I've actually been up to, I will show you guys. Um, well, we did, I yeah, uh, grabbed some stuff out of storage so yeah, because we stored this away, the shield module, scanner module, and mining beam module. So I'm going to go ahead and equip these since we're going to have this multi-tool, I imagine, for a little while. Oh, this goes in the mult in this. Oh, do we want this? Or do we want it here? It gets an adjacency bonus for this, doesn't it? Well, it's only a B rank. I'm going to go ahead and put it here because I feel like... Oh, I can't install it there. All right, then it only goes in here. And I don't know. We can always move it later. We'll put it there for now. How do we get new ones of these? I know there is a way to fill this out too, obviously. Dang it. <laughs> Freaking it. Yeah, I had my daughter again today, in case you guys couldn't tell. All right, and then this one, scanner module, that definitely goes in the multi-tool, right? Yeah. So that can go here and get, or actually, does it go here for the adjacency bonus? Maybe we can put this there so we can get the full adjacency, because I think that's how it works, is to get the maximum adjacency. I don't know if we really need it for the scanner, <laughs> so we may change that later, but for the moment, I, it might boost the range or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know more. I'm sure everybody does. I never really got into all that min-maxing of everything, and the mining beam we may as well install as well. That can go here. Right, that's our mining beam, yep, and that's our bolt caster. I had those confused for a little bit. I thought they all kind of went together, but they don't. They just look very similar. 
Um, I mean, it's the same thing. It just shoots different, I guess. <laughs> so it would look similar. So yeah, we've got that now. What does that give us exactly? So first off, we get... Oh, that's Starship. Of course, it has shields. So the Vector Polarizer, significant upgrade for defense systems. Substantial upgrade for yeah, offering significant improvements to shield strength. I guess that's a good thing. I mean, they're not having it, right? And then over here, we get... Supreme upgrade, uh, improvements to overheat, downtime, mining speed, fuel efficiency, and heat dissipation. Or heat, heat dispersion. I mean, it's kind of the same thing as dissipation. Uh, either way, that's all good stuff. And then the scanner thing. What was the scanner? Oh, so just that gives us this one doesn't? Oh, what doesn't that one? What if we move you? Can we move you? Oh, I still have to install it. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, we finally got magnetized ferrite. A lot of it because that's the next part of what I have to show you what else was being installed was this installed yet this needed those which we can actually build these I realized I also bought the ability to build the we I went and bought those before the what is it the quantum thing the computer this guy but these yeah now we can make both of these but I don't know if you actually ever can make the wiring loom um, correct me if I'm wrong but from ev everything I've been seeing yeah you always have to buy those or find them, I guess. Um, but what was I doing? I was doing, oh yeah, crafting some stuff for the things. We, we, well, I guess we could do it with the starship. It doesn't really matter. But over here, we're going to build this, which we need. Oh yeah, ionized cobalt. That's the thing. I don't have much cobalt, so we may want to work on cobalt next, because that seems to be the next thing. Yeah, we've got 82. But we need ionized cobalt, which I believe we can, yeah, make over here. Yeah, getting tons of chromatic metal from our copper mine. And where are you, Mr. Cobalt? There. And that will, yes, be ionized. 41, just enough. Well, plus one. But either way, that's perfect. And then, yeah, cobalt mine will probably be next, because that will be our scanner upgrade, right? Or our ability to, oh, I don't know what went there. Our ability to, um, yeah, survey again. But I did all the surveying I needed to do for the moment anyway. Um, but yeah, obviously we're going to be doing more in the future. So we need that. And now we shall have it. Oh, except I have to build stuff. Dang it. I don't know why I'm so bad at navigating the menu over here. So what did we need? We need like three of them though. And we can only make one. Right? Is it three? How many is it? We can go buy some ionized. Yeah, we need three. That was right. And, well, we can, yeah, either go buy some or, uh, I don't know, uh, find some. One way or another. I'll see you at... Where are we going? We're going to a space station to buy stuff. I guess we'll just try the first in the list. I have no idea who has what. Different space stations have different things, obviously. And what do they have here? They've got a cobalt. Haha, <laughs> nice. And it's a little pricey, but it did get us some more money, so even though we bought that multi tool, we're good to go. But probably no more um, of the duping. <laughs> At least I'm going to try not to. Should I just buy a bunch? Because they're pretty cheap here. I probably, I don't know, I don't have the storage for it. Yeah. I just feel like we're going to need a lot of wiring looms. Either way, that... Oh, we need to go and refine it. What am I doing? Okay, let me go take care of that, and I'll see you guys afterward. There we go. Now we got three of them. So you... Go in here. And that's done. Alright. So glad I can make those now. Because not everywhere has them, is the main issue. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop off... Um, because I don't think we need cobalt all that often, so I'm going to drop, yeah, uh, this one. Why aren't you working? Because I was pushing C. Uh, I think I'm going to carry just one refiner on me. <laughs> I don't need two. I've been trying to collect them because I've got a bunch of them just laying around. I think I'll keep these on me for now. And then we have, yeah, suspicious packets as well, which I want, oh, that's just, um, ammunition. But yeah, the suspicious packets look similar. So these, what are those? I guess I could read. So bad at doing that. <laughs> um, right, they are 
Yeah, suspicious, obviously. Seller indicated contains some sort of technology. So yeah, we can open it. And I believe these are... Oh, that's... Uh, yeah. Sometimes you get... Yeah, that one. Suspicious scanner module. Black market uh, modification for the multi-tool scanning systems. Um... Yeah, the problem is it doesn't tell you, and sometimes these can be bad. I mean, you can... I don't know. We'll just go ahead and do it. Why not? Uh, we'll put you over here. Forbidden Suspicious. What? Forbidden Nanite Powered Scope. Alright. Uh, <laughs> bypassing nearly every galactic standard for workmanship and safety. This upgrade module targets floor analysis rewards and scan radius. Oh, crap. Floral ana floor ana analysis rewards plus 8,700%. Well, 730, but yeah, that. <laughs> we need to start scanning more. Oh, but do, like, I get in trouble if people scan and find that on me? I don't know. That sounds good. Now, yeah, that definitely means we should start scanning more because that's going to be tons of money. I mean, I don't know. But so, what else I was up to is building mines. So we already had the copper mine. Um, yeah. And then I marked the volcano place from the last video where we talked to Artemis or yeah. So just in case we want that volcano, I don't, I don't know if I like that place though. It's really hostile. I hung out there a bit and tried to record, but, uh, my audio glitched. Luckily it was only for like a couple minutes. So uh, but yeah, there's like rocks falling down from the sky that were at the volcano. I mean, it's it's impressive, but I don't know. And then, yeah, I found an Earth with Rings planet. I don't know if I've included that in video, so I marked that just in case. I don't know. I'm sure everybody's seen that a billion times. Then we've got an oxygen mine and a ma uh, magnetized ferrite mine. I always want to call it magnesium ferrite because magnesium ferrite is actually a real thing. I don't know if magnetized ferrite. I mean, I guess technically it is, but it doesn't really stay magnetized either way. But yeah, so now we've got yeah, mag magne uh, magnetized ferrite and oxygen coming in, so we don't have to worry about those or copper anymore. So instead, we can get on. I mean, I'd show you them, but they just look exactly the same as the copper mine, a little less disorganized. But <laughs> yeah, it's not that interesting, and it, I don't know for some reason right now it's taking forever to load the um, the portal. So we have yeah, alone makes the stars. We can triangulate to find Artemis. Space Anomaly, continue to help Artemis purchase, te purchase technology blueprints, uh, the new base parts, or the Anomaly. Oh. Okay, so we just have to do more stuff with the Anomaly. Then, yeah, locate the next Atlas, which is pretty easy. Then we've got this, which is... What? Explore that place, Paradise Planet. Um, I suppose we could, but I don't really want to. And then the archives. So, oh, we've got archive stuff? Uh, base computer. Will you, yeah, you do it. Okay. I mean, it's right here. We may as well. And that's encrypted stuff. We do need, um, oh, Traveler? Uh, let's go Traveler. Unlocked. Nice. That was just total sort of guess that everybody calls everybody Traveler in this game. Automated archive recovery, good. Uh, data recovery, 15 new data available. Percent, I missed, sorry. Uh, search construction database or archives. Can we do both? I'd rather do construction, I think. Exosuit technology, nice. Personal upgrade module. What is it? What do we get? Additional data. Covered. Search archives. Yeah, I figured we get to do both. Uh, so some entry follows. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. Controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it, no sense of it before. That's pretty much what happened to us. Uh, readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation of next segment. Good deal. And then, I guess it it's not like based on, oh, it's only level C, or C grade, whatever. Uh, what is it? Some multi-tool scanning systems? Uh, we could just sell it. I think I'd rather just sell it. Our scanner, we just upgraded a bunch. But yeah, now I really want to go out and do that. I don't think we really have anything we can learn here. I did learn a bunch of the, um, yeah, technology, uh, well, 
yeah, this is all learned. So it did get, yeah, the hazard protection thing and the, all these, these mo oh, that's all it has here. It doesn't have all the stuff that the Nexus has. So, hmm. What? Upgrade module required? Base computer. Oh, it's already done. Sheesh. <laughs> I guess I've been, yeah, uh, goofing off a bit. It, I was playing for probably close to four hours. Where do we get that pass key? Alright, hang on. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, it's just kind of random. Unlocked. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm lucky? I <laughs> Automated archive recovery in progress. Yes. 27%. We will do construction database first. Although, maybe we should do the other one first. Maybe we'll get better than a, a C grade. What do we get? We don't know. It doesn't tell us. And yes, more stuff. Search the archives. Lovely. I think the archives gets you more data, more of these interactions. And yeah, the other one gets you stuff. I glance backwards towards the wreck of my ship. Nothing more than a dot walking this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. Readable archive, retrieval, complete. Beginning defragmentation. Yep, same thing. So the next bit shall be coming. Um, oh. Did I buy that? I don't remember if I bought that yet or not. But it wants us to install it now. Can we install it? But I do want that. Yeah, I do. I would like that. I should have bought them. Dang it, I knew I should have. One antimatter. I think we can build an antimatter. Right. And yes. So that can be done. And then we have to go and get a freaking... How many wiring looms? Three. Oh, I have two. So I only need to buy one. I think it is... Is it the space station here? Yeah, I know. I did the antimatter. Why didn't you show that already? Right? Did I put it in? Yes. Okay. Just one wiring loom. Alright, back to the space station. Uh, there's my... I need to put some lights in here. It's so freaking dark. But I just have, I haven't been focused on that. We need to go space station. Uh, I guess we'll go here. I think that's where we were. They were cheap there. It's everywhere else, they're like 20 or 30 grand more. Okay. Just one, right? Oh. I wish there was like a toggle for that so it would auto skip. Um, like when you go to a place, because it's kind of annoying that it does that every time. Yeah, I'm not going to buy it more because it's just it takes up inventory space. So we'll just buy them as we need them. There we go. So that, yeah, that is the teleport receiver. If anyone doesn't know, that allows you to transfer stuff to your ship. Like when it's on the same, I mean, obviously it's on the going to be on the same planet as you. But within like a certain range. Does it actually tell you the range? I don't remember if it tells you the range or not. Uh, don't see it. No. It says long distance. But it's less than a mile or a kilometer or so from what I've heard other people say. Uh, is that? That's almost the ship that we have, isn't it? I think it's similar. And this... What are you on? Oh. Oh, uh, what? Hang on. What's going on with my scanner? Are you not... Uh, yeah, shouldn't this one... Or did we... Yeah, it's installed. What's going on? Oh, I, I'm on a base. But yeah, it should show me... Oh, it does over, the, over there. Okay, I don't know. I was looking at the wrong side of the dang screen. <laughs> yeah, six million. Like, we could almost afford that, but that's not the best ship. It does have more cargo. But that's an explorer class, I think, is the, that style and the other one. But we don't, yeah, have the money. And, ooh. Oh, man. What is that ship? That's a solar ship, isn't it? Right? Yeah, the pride of the flight. Solar ship. I mean... Not too bad, but yeah, just a B class. But yeah, not. I mean, it's got more cargo. I haven't. I would, the solar ships weren't in the game when I played last time. The, they just had the living ships. And I don't know. The living ships have their advantages, for sure, but they are definitely not the best. What was I doing now? <laughs> uh, we got everything installed. So, oh, we have base computer things. 
I suppose we should have just teleported. But it's nice to fly around every now and then. Oh, it's, yeah, that's, that's right. Oh, this is where the oxy mine is. That's right. Um, yeah, I put it where it, on that paradise moon, our original one. Can we get out of here? How do I get out? Oh, now it's escape. Of course it is. Ooh. I also do want to get a freighter. I've decided we need a freighter. So that means we need to start jumping into new systems. So I'm pretty sure that that's how it's determined. Like, there's a certain number of jumps to new systems you have to do, you know, in your ship, and then it'll, you know, randomly pop up a new freighter for you to help. And then, you know, if you don't have a freighter, you can just pick one up for free. Like, since we don't have one yet, the first one, I believe, is free, like, regardless. So you can just hold off until you find one that's really awesome. But then, you know, you're going without a freighter for a while. And it's, I don't know, it's arguable to me whether or not... I guess you guys get to see the oxygen mine. It's nothing too special. It's just the closest... Um, ooh, it's, it's difficult to land at. I didn't realize I put it underneath a freaking overhang like that. This is good enough, though. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it really matters for your freighter to be. I guess you get, like, better fuel consumption... Maybe a little bit more money. It's another one of those min-maxing things that I just... I don't know. I had an A-class freighter, I think, in my other playthrough. And it did just fine for me. So, yeah, this is the oxygen mine. It is an S-class oxygen mine, which is like, oh boy, S-class oxygen. Like, of course, it couldn't be the copper or something. But it's just pretty basic. Bunch of uh, extractors and storage and then power for it, which is in the shade. But it doesn't seem to matter that it's in the shade. I know a lot of games. I was actually just watching oh, a real civil engineer. He was playing uh, City Skylines 2 and debunking myths, and one of them is that the solar panels in the game work in the shade, and they do. So that myth is, yeah, totally true. And apparently in No Man's Sky it works the same way. I guess it would be kind of hard to program, you know, shadow recognition for like all the light sources. Maybe if you're doing ray tracing, it's easier. But obviously, I don't, well, yeah, I don't know if you know, but I don't think ray tracing was around when No Man's Sky, or it was just in its infancy. So I don't think ray tracing is native to No Man's Sky. Yeah, and the skin, what are you? You're like a weird duckbill dinosaur, no, or like, you know, like a platypus dinosaur sort of thing, almost. But yeah, I love the new, our new multi-tool. It's way better. Like, the stats looked worse, but since we could add so many more modules onto it, it ends up being way better. But we need to go somewhere we can scan stuff. So, are you done, finally, Mr. Bay's computer, with your calculating and whatnot? Seems to be. So, I'm going to get to our ship. Oh, I do need to upgrade the booster thing, the boost pack. Because that will make exploring places a lot easier. Although, on the next planet, uh, I really intend to do some major exploring on. I think I'll just build an exocraft. And we'll we'll drive around on the planet. And see how that works out. Yeah, that's... Is that a freighter you can get? I think that is a style of freighter you can get. Like, most of the ones that yeah go in like that, you can get them. They're so loud coming in. Sheesh. I mean, I guess they are um, disrupting space and time or something along those lines. And then these are... Are these the black holes? Like this symbol? I think that is. We don't want to go to a black hole yet, I don't believe. And then there's the next Atlas thing. That's... Yeah, we could go do that. I just kind of want to go find a system to go scan stuff at. We do need to get some cadmium so we can build us a cadmium drive. So, is that the cadmium? That's the problem. After, <laughs> you gotta, like, be able to see color. And I'm bad with color. So, I think that's a cadmium world. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We do need to get the scanners. Eventually, you get scanners to tell you more about the systems before you jump to them. So, we will be getting that, which is another reason to have the freighter, because um, that has the ability to, like, you can put them in your ship to scan for it, but you, the freighter also has, like, better ones, I think. And you also get the actual scanner room, so you can see the map better. Scan that warp ten times. Really? 
Only 10. Wow. Oh, I probably shouldn't have skipped that. But <laughs> just trying to see this stuff. Oh, we have a thing, do we? Yeah. Select that. Who are you? Dot. Um, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> yep, he's a Viking. We know that word at least. Um, something about the. So the transmission is infused with static and its alien speech garbled. One thing is unmistakable. Life form is in great distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. Um, input the coordinates, I suppose. Oh, is this another one? Transmission is pre-recorded. Hologram fades. Okay. Yep, they're gone. Is this another one where we are? They want us to uh, plant in distress. Yeah, invest. That yeah, it's probably a uh, colony thing, um, isn't it? Where are you at? I don't see it. Mission target in another system. Oh, you sent me another a mission. Uh, a freaking signal from a whole other planet. Oh no. Freaking over here. Yeah, I still haven't figured out those lines. Sometimes they, I think it's because of the recording. I swear. Yeah, we have, oh, chromatic metal. How many is it? Yeah. No, thank you. Hey, is it just one ship? We can handle just one ship. This ship is actually pretty good at, uh, yeah, combat. Are you dead? Oh, come on. He's got, like, one shot left. There we go. Yeah, do they drop... They do drop stuff, don't they? But yeah, it just, like, sucks into you. Okay. There we go. So what was this planet? I didn't get a chance to read it. I was trying to read the freaking what the planet is. Infested planet. Are the infested planets... Journey milestone accomplished. What is that? Oh, destroyed ten starships. I want to check out what an infested planet is, because I honestly don't remember. Is that the new one? the new type with because they added the bug thing for like starship troopers for whatever reason or did they like come out with a new game for starship troopers or something i hear there is a pretty good starship troopers game now there's an earth like is that a moon oops um yeah we don't need to do that a blood planet Ooh. um oh it has cadmium though we want a blood planet that doesn't sound good what is a blood planet infested planet hmm which first I think I want to go to the blood planet first that sounds terrible <laughs> what makes it a blood planet <laughs> it's got blue oceans so I don't know I guess this must be the planet of the vampires or something vampire bats space bats vampire space bats that sounds awful I don't want vampire space bats Although, I guess you could make one your friend. Um, entering atmosphere. It's mostly how terrible of an atmosphere it is. Like, anywhere the cadmium and those, like, sorts of resources you need for the different, um, the drives. All the planets I've ever found that sort of stuff on is, like, bad sort of nasty planets. Is it the cadmium we need, or is it the activated cadmium? I don't remember. Why does it feel like I'm going so slow? I mean, the planet doesn't seem that bad. Kind of barren. I don't know why you'd call it a blood planet. Where's these blue oceans? Should have gone on a, you know, much closer to. I mean, there's some water right there. It doesn't. It looks a little blue. I mean, I guess all the water tends to be the same color on the planet, regardless of where you're at, whether it's ocean or. I mean, I don't think it distinguishes between ocean or lake. I almost. I think I just kind of bumped the ground a little bit there. This is good enough though. Just wanted to land. Oh, ooh, <laughs> of course. Picked like the worst spot to freaking land. Didn't even see that dude. I don't think he'd loaded in yet. To be totally honest with you. All right, let's get to scanning. Is this mineral inorganic? Yes. That's a mineral. That's the trouble. A planet like this probably has mostly minerals and not very much plant life, which is what we get more money for. Right, it's fauna. Was it fauna or flora? Don't remember. Hey, I think it was fauna. So, it, give me. Scan it. There we go. So, how much do we get for that? Yeah, see, 105,000. That's way more than we're supposed to get. <laughs> I like that black market thing. So, how does that work? It just sells it to, like, I don't know, like black market people so they can come get the animals? That's probably what it is, isn't it? So all these animals are now going to be put on the black market for sale or whatever. And 
More bats. No oh, cave bats. See, I knew. Yep. There's the vampire bats. So it is a blood planet. Maybe I have been to a blood planet before. Phosphorus and cadmium. So that's nice and easy to get to. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty nice here, but it is just regular cadmium. I think it's the activated cadmium you really need. So let's go ahead and get... So I don't even think I have any phosphorus. Um, or very little. So I'm going to grab this real quick. Alright, that wasn't very much. Yeah, some of the deposits are not very large. We do still need this. I don't know if the sodium you can actually mine. But some stuff, obviously, obviously you can't mine it. Yeah, it's, this is right here. Easy. And you, we've scanned, so I don't really care. We'll just go ahead and mine out the cadmium, but I think we need the activated cadmium, which is going to be on that probably more hostile planet. And... There. It's like a little piece. <laughs> there we go. Alright. What's the wrong button? And my ship. Oh. It's like so lazy to call it up here, isn't it? But I do have the recharger thing, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, I always go the wrong way. I don't know what it is, I just want the wheel to go... Oh, I missed a chunk. There we go. What was that, two? I missed two cadmium. Yeah, this is kind of a nice planet. I mean, overall. But I don't think cadmium is what we really are after. I just figured I'd grab some, just in case we need it for something. Because, yeah, what is it? Let's go ahead and look. Can we install... I think we should be able to install it, right? No. Um, Admium drive is all we have. We don't have the next level drive. I have to go learn it. We need to get some nanites. I don't think I have enough nanites. How much nanites do I have? 500. That might actually be enough. Um, we can call... Oh, yeah. And if we call the Nexus in here, then we can get... Oh. He's not only unavailable. What? Planetary. Oh, we're too close to the planet. Uh, let's get out of here then a little bit. And that should be good. You only need to, get a little, yeah, need to get a little bit away. Yeah, eventually I'll get used to it. It's a lot the switching back and forth between games, too. You know, if you just play in one game, it's a lot easier to get yourself more accustomed to those controls going back and forth. I don't know. I like the, the variety, though. I get too bored with games. That's kind of why I started doing YouTube. I was just getting bored with games, like anything that came out. Like, eh. So I was like, maybe if I'm doing YouTube, it'd be more like playing with friends. Because <laughs> as you get older, I don't know, you just can't really make time for that kind of thing anymore. So we are going to go ahead. I did just drop off with these guys, but we may as well. We're going to be spending nanites. Yeah, you, that. And, and be careful not to invite people to your party. Uh, we don't have anything. Can we learn about your past? Nope. So I guess I haven't... I did do a couple milestones, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's there's like a, an amount. Um, yeah, we do have enough. All right. I don't have any pearls. What? I guess she just gives you nanites for pearls. How much do we get? 50? Yeah. Like, there was, I think, two. I need to start cooking, too, so we can get... I think that guy gives... I don't think he gives you nanites. The, uh, the dude who eats stuff. I don't remember what he gives you. Maybe he does give you nanites, I don't remember. You... Are you any good? I always want to take a look. This one looks a little better. But yeah, C-Class. Doesn't even compare. We can... Uh, upgrade this one if we really wanted to. Our multi-tool. But definitely... Yeah, can't we... Can we get this one? Oh yeah, that's how we do it, okay. Yeah, easy enough. You just switch which one you're doing. But we don't really need that right now. So for now, I think we're going to go with actual backpack space. But yeah, I was wondering that. Because I remember, that you, obviously, you can... <laughs> a dang word. I don't know how to strike that word from my freaking vocabulary. So what do we need? There's, yeah, the appearance changer. Which, I don't know. We don't really need that right now. Oh, this is salvage data, which we have none of. This is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> we are looking for... Um, yeah, weren't we? What were we looking for? Oh, the starship one. Yeah, that was it. Freaking A. 
so we need the next level. Yeah, research starship, and this is the nanites, yes. We need emerald, that's the one, emerald and then indium. And then emergency, I don't think we need yet, but these two scanners. Yeah, the economy scanner and the conflict scanner. But this one, you need a walker brain, and I don't think we can take out a walker yet. So we can get the economy scanner. What is that? Cargo scan deflector? Yeah, we definitely would like one of those. Although it's, yeah, a little tougher to use because you got to, yeah, deploy it from the quick menu. And you guys know how um, <laughs> my skills with the quick menu, but we should get this because, yeah, we're going to need that. And then, yeah, we need, oh, it is regular cadmium you need. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that. I thought it was the, act I guess the activated one is the one you sell. And then, yeah, we may as well get the, M um, or the indium drive if we, yeah, we can afford it. Because that will get us... Yeah, everywhere so far until you know there's all that talk of the, the purple stars in uh, the world's part two update so yeah we may as well go ahead and take off from here because this system is the cadmium system i don't know yeah is it worth doing a cadmium mine i don't think it is or an activated cadmium i think you just want to just go straight for the activated indium and not bother like not waste your time with all the other stuff the emerald and the cadmium because it's basically the same you know every now and then you need the emerald and the cadmium for crafting stuff but you don't really need enough of it for a mine in, from what i recall uh so this one was it the one right in, it was it wasn't it it has the cadmium why doesn't it say and why is that dude's name still on my screen? Don't know. Um, yes, it is this one. I want to go... Oh, we should probably go through the asteroid field, actually. I have been doing a little bit of this, just because you need the tritium, I think it is. It's H3, but I believe it's tritium. But it's, you know, hydrogen, which is the fuel for the ships, which is in the asteroids. And then there's, yeah, platinum and gold. But you gotta watch out if you do too much mining, like pirates will come up and attack you. So if you don't want that kind of thing to be happening, ow. And you can also crash into them. But yeah, if you don't want to be attacked by pirates, then you should not mine very much. Um, but yeah, you can't just do like a quick one like that. I want to go to the, the daytime side of the planet if I can. And get a little bit more cadmium. And that will get us <clears throat> our new drive. Because we, we had about half of what we needed, I think, thereabouts. Can we hit... There is an ocean right there. Let's let's hit the ocean if we can. Yeah, that's pretty close to the ocean. Was this way. Right? Oh, nope, stay in the atmosphere. Ah! Yeah, I don't think I've quite gotten the mouse settings exactly tightened in since the, the jump from... I guess 1080 or whatever I was <laughs> no, I'm playing in to the 4K now. I don't know, it's just a whole different game. So there's really not an ocean ocean, is there? Or was it more to the left or whatever? I, I, I don't know east what it is. Okay, that's, yeah, more ocean. I did uh, get the, oh, what are they, the, the water jet things so you can land on water, but I have not installed them. You, you need components from underwater to install them. I don't know why I'm going all the way over here. It's not clear. Well, there's probably no cadmium over here anyway. <laughs> Install emerald drive. Yes, I know. We will. We need cadmium. And then we need to go buy wiring looms, I think, is what it looked like. Um, I imagine it would be in the mountains, the hills, this sort of area. <laughs> Sometimes you can spot them because they're all shiny. So you can spot them from when you're flying, um, you know, different of those resources, things. We will just land up here if it'll let us. Is this good? No. Flying too fast. Oh no. Flying too fast. Well, I gotta get places. How am I supposed to get places without flying fast? Landing area not clear. Why is the landing area never clear? There we go. Some planets are just difficult in certain areas. <clears throat> but I guess, I mean, we can land right on right inside the rock. So I don't see... Oh, it's not inside the rock. It's just barely missed it. 
Are these things... Sometimes these things are really good. Can we scan you? No, what are you? Are you just a feature of the ground? Yeah, sometimes you can get a ton of ferrite from stuff like that. Alright, we need... We scanned you? Oh no. <clears throat> Wasn't this the planet we were on before? We need cadmium. Cadmium is... Are you right there? Your sodium. Although a sodium deposit is pretty good. What are you? You are ancient data structure. Uh, should we go check out the ancient data structure while we're over here? I don't remember... Oh, cadmium is 300. We... Oh. Ancient data structure. Let's go check out the ancient data structure. There's cadmium all over. And this planet's actually not too inhospitable. So it should be pretty easy to get over there. Have we scanned you? We've not scanned you. And you will give us lots of money. 105. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the way. That's almost overpowered, to be completely honest with you. Hexaberry. What's a hexaberry? It's whatever that thing is. We shall see. Get over here. Oh no. Oh, ow. That one hurt. <laughs> hey, you didn't see anything, you dumb plant. <laughs> All right. Uh, oops, wrong button. We need, man. It's controls, controls. No, this one, and then, yeah, recharge, because our life support is a little below what I want, but we got more oxygen than I know what to do with. Sorry, buddy. Your species is now going to be harvested by black market people. Aha! We are down the road for the evil genius. We're, we're working that way. <laughs> it starts with illegal animal uh, black market transportation. I mean, well, I guess we're not really doing the transporting ourselves, but we're in that sort of circuit. Where are we looking for? We're looking for this thing over here. What are you? Ancient data structure. Were these in... Oh yeah, these were. These are just like... Um, kind of like those finger things, but yeah, it's like navigation style, so you don't mine it. Instead, it's a bunch of free navigation data, which I suppose is good. So, I mean, navigation data is useful. Because can't you, can you use it to scan the planet? Forget. There's something you can use to do that. Oh, we got an exosuit upgrade part? Nice. I'll always take an exo- and it was S-Class? I didn't read what it was. If it tells you. I don't know. I don't think it tells you in there. So these things are pretty useful. Usually the star stuff you should go to. <laughs> we got a couple more. I passed by. And then we can go get the cadmium. Alright, cadmium. Is that you? Oh, you're the sodium. Cadmium. There we go. Oh, holding it down. Um, This one. What are you? Oh. Exosuit upgrade chart. Uh, encoded navigation data probably. Oh, that's right. These things. Um, yeah. I will do that after the cadmium. Because those things are actually pretty cool. I thought we'd already gotten one of those. Did I lose it? I don't know. Hmm. But it provides you a map. Oh, maybe I, I read the map and then I didn't follow where it led to. Uh, that sounds like me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that could totally be, it could even be marked somewhere, but wouldn't it show up in our quest log? Or whatever you want to call it, just the log, I guess it is. It's not technically a quest log, but essentially the same thing. Oh, we need, yeah, dihydrogen. So the crystals, I think, are the most efficient source of dihydrogen, from what I recall. So I always try and, blend, well, any crystals, yeah, they like especially the uh, carbon crystals. We do need to work on getting carbon is the next uh, resource I need to really get a sort of mine going for. But you need the plant structure things from what I remember that you build in your base. That like it's the, the garden wall sort of deal. I don't remember what it's called. You guys probably all know what I'm talking about. We need to get those and I don't remember how um, I've looked through. Like I know you, you learn it, as it, but I think it's in the must be in the base computer, so we have to go through that thing. That's kind of the other reason I was doing that. Oh, you're unidentified. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. You don't give us anywhere near. Although, 23 grand. Yeah, you can make decent money from scanning. I mean, it's nothing compared to late game money, but it is, you know, good to get you started. And is this going to be enough cadmium? We'll probably need to go maybe do one more. It all depends, because they can be different sizes, these deposits. I've found some that are, it's like, 
barely even below the surface from what was on the surface. It's so disappointing. It's like, really? That's all that's here? Just have to go find another one. It's like, yo, know, 20 of whatever you're looking for. Yeah, that... What did that get us? That got us... Um, should be in the exosuit. Yeah, I know, I know. We're gonna get to it. Why has it got a flash the whole time? Cadmium. We needed like 300, wasn't it? Uh, starship. Does it tell us... Uh, we can't. It's out of range. Yeah, see, the, the teleporter, like, it doesn't have unlimited... I think we needed 300 and something. So let's find another one. That's that same sodium, isn't it? You are... more sodium... phosphorus. Yeah, I don't remember if phosphorus is really all that useful. Cadmium, 500. And so... but is that the one we just came from? That's the other issue. But what do you... You, oh, phosphorus. And that's the cadmium we just came from. I think I need to go find a new spot on the planet, but... Um, yeah, that's probably the safest bet. What are you? You're very glowy. Are you a bunch of sodium? You look very sodium-like, yes. So, a bunch of sodium-rich plants. But what is this one? Can we scan this one? Oh, we can. It's a very glowy plant. I imagine it's a sodium plant. I don't think I've ever seen a sodium plant before. This is a strange sort of planet. I mean, I've seen these ones, like these curly ones that you just use E to collect the sodium out of it. Like, everybody's seen those, obviously. You get those on pretty much the first planet. I mean, how you get not to die <laughs> is that recharges your, um, what you call it. But we need to get a so I don't know if there are, I imagine there are sodium mines. Like, in real life, there are sodium mines. Oh no, they were just glowing from... That was a whole ton of these sodium plants. Dang. Yeah, I'd never want to pass those up. Because that sodium... Um, it's kind of a pain in the early game like we are. Alright, I was calling my ship to get somewhere else on the planet. So we can get a little more cadmium. And get our new drive. Because I want to be able to go everywhere. And I think you only need... Or do you need all the drives? I think you need, because the Emerald Drive only goes to Emerald and, you know, like that. So if you want to go to all of them, you have to have all the drives installed. I was just watching some video and somebody was saying that you only need the Indian, Indium Drive. And, I mean, I guess technically if you don't ever want to go to the Cadmium or Emerald, you know, systems, then sure, right? But if you want to be able to go to other systems, then you need to leave all the drives on <laughs> that go to the systems. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Just pick a, oh, it's going to take us to the anomaly. I just want to get to the sunny side. Sunny side of the planet. There we go. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if we go to where the Nexus was, but it's going to take me on a direct course to the Nexus if I go that way. Ooh, that's a big ocean. Ooh. Well, that's not good. A significant threat is, is not a good thing. Uh, oh. Okay, we don't have to go after him, though. So is he is he coming after us? I just don't really want to deal with a bounty right now. I've got other things to do. Yeah. Oh, we have an upgrade module, too? <laughs> and we can find one? Man, all just sorts of things happening right now. Let's land here. This looks like a good spot, I suppose. I don't really know what makes a good spot. Oh, too fast, too fast. There we go, right on top of the rock. Perfect. Smash. I love it. <laughs> and do we have some more cadmium? Cadmium. Nice. That's not too far. That's even closer. And we got 300. Yeah. Anybody? Can we go for 300? What about you? Sodium. You are not playing with the right currency. Alright then, 400 is. Where you at? Over here. This freaking plant. Get out of my way. Um, yeah, I was gonna do the melee boost. But then thought better of it. Because we were going uphill. I do need it. Yeah. Ooh! 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 <laughs> that was almost pretty dangerous. That can happen though. Oh, I've scanned you a few times. Or tried to anyway. That guy is on a few different planets, or similar ones. 
that style of animal critter, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. Oh, man. Just use up all of my, my boost. I'm used to Starfield, where I installed a mod to make the boost, like, progressive, I guess you would call it. Like, as you hold down shift, it, like, slowly depletes, and then if you let go of shift, you know, like, it starts filling back up. But yeah, even, I don't know, maybe I'm holding shift down too long. I know you can do that in No Man's Sky, but uh, whether or not I can is a different story. <laughs> oh, you have sodium in the rocks? That's weird. This is a very cliffy sort of resource. <laughs> but it'll work. Okay, I think I got it all. You may as well go overboard, because from what I remember, you need a bunch of silica to make glass. Which, if you want a nice, cool glass base then you need a lot of silica. So you end up, like with my last base, my other playthrough, I ended up, um, how much did we get? Um, <laughs> just going and mining out so much. Uh, so that should be plenty. Where's my ship? I have no idea. So we're gonna call it. That's why I wish uh, you could just whistle, basically. Like, I guess you can put it on a quick button. We're on a nasty cliff right here. I guess we'll have to put it down here. What are you? You are, if you're cadmium, no, you're sodium. Mm, it's right there. <laughs> I guess we're going to stock up on sodium this trip, too. That works out. Sodium. Nice. Do the long range mining over here. Just eat away at all of the freaking landscape. <laughs> okay. Now we've got everything we need. Oh, there's that shit right there. So, like, a planet like this wouldn't be bad in a cadmium system. I think I'd want to go for an indium system, because that's, like, exclusive. You know, you need a special drive to get there, or maybe the purple drive, or, you know, if, if they are releasing a new system type with the world's part two, we can wait for our final ultimate base until that. And, oh, man. Oh, yeah, the threat. But is he really a threat? Like, if we just go away, I don't think he's going to really care about us. Oh, our energy is low. Can we recharge? Yes. Threat detected. Well, I don't really care. Where is the um, nexus? Oh, he's right there? Is that so? Well, I'm going to the anomaly, so good luck with that. I think they can. Can they interdict me? Yeah. <laughs> Are they approaching? How can they approach? Oh, they can interdict me. I forgot they could. Ooh. I forgot they could interdict you. Hey, you. Die. Can I defeat them? They're. I don't know. Pretty tough. Ooh. Oh, is, are my weapons out? What's going on with my weapons? Now they're working. Yeah, you need to die. Two ships on one ship is not fair. Oh, is it three ships on one ship? I'm not doing so hot, am I? Yeah, we need to get out of here a second so I can recharge stuff. There we go. Um, yeah, here we go. Back in the fight. Hey, right, where are you at? I should probably stop boosting. That's the whole problem. I'm confusing myself and him. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the, the combat is very arcadey in No Man's Sky, I suppose. I forgot about that fact. But then, I mean, so is Starfield. So are a lot of games. All right, let's get out of here a little bit and recharge. Yeah, and then we can... Dang, why? I guess we're in a cadmium system. We should have, you know, thought about that. This is a tough battle. I mean, I got one of them, right? And this will be two. Nice. And then recharge. There we go. And next dude. Is there two left? There's two left. I think we can do it. This ship is pretty good at the fighting aspect. It's not really very good at other things. Oh, and our weapons. Oop, they were overheated. We gotta watch that overheat. That's what it is. Everything overheats. I'm not used to overheating. There we go. Who's left? Who's left? One left. 
right? Yeah, you buddy. This is what you get for coming after me. I'm just over here minding my own business and trying to become some sort of evil genius who <laughs> may or may not mind his own business, I guess, since I've been carting animals off for... Yeah, alright, we got it. Yeah, carting animals off for black market sale. So I guess we don't need the Nexus anymore. And you... What are you? Oh. Uh, high Mall Planet. What's a High Mall Planet? High Sentinel Activity. No, thank you. Destroyed 15 starships. Yeah, I'm getting better at the starship thing. Sodium Dioxide Cadmium. Yeah, why would I go there when I could go to that nice planet I was just on? Which was not even hostile at all. Maybe a storm is pretty bad there. Uranium Magnetized Ferret. That's a pretty good... Infested, though. That's the infested one. We wanted to check that out. See what infested means. Does it mean that there's lots of bugs that you have to kill? Or would they kill you? <clears throat> Rattling planet. Rattling planets, I remember going to them, but not what they're like. What are you? Oh, tritium-rich asteroid. So it marks those? I didn't realize it marks the tritium-rich asteroids, but I will definitely take it. Maybe it's a scanner thing that I have? That's useful. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check out the infested planet, at the very least. Which is easy, because it has rings. Which is odd, like all the ringed planets in No Man's Sky. For a terrestrial planet, you know, meaning like a hard planet that has a surface, you know, and not a gas giant, to have a ring is, like, I don't think, you know, it's possible as far as we know. Just with the nature, like, while it's forming, sure, but it'd be like a primordial sort of planet, like, it'd have rocks raining down all the time. You wouldn't want to be on the surface of a planet like that. You know, regardless of what the surface was like, it'd be, you know, you'd have rocks falling on your head all the time. <laughs> It'd be very dangerous. Because that's what makes up the rings. People, I don't know, a lot of them still don't really realize that planetary rings are... They think it's all dust, but it's, it's mostly, yeah, rocks. <laughs> and they commonly fall down on the planet. <clears throat> like, eventually, Jupiter and, you know... Like, they think Jupiter had rings. And they think, you know, Saturn, given enough time, you know, millions and millions of years. But, like, its rings will slowly go away, too. And Uranus probably had bigger rings. It has some ring now. And then Neptune, I think, has somewhat of a ring. But yeah, all those outer, you know, gas giants, they all have the rings. And none of the terrestrial planets like Earth and Mars and Venus, they don't have rings. Although Venus, you know, it is technically terrestrial, though you wouldn't really want to stand on the surface. Not that you'd really want to stand on Mars either. <laughs> I don't know. People are probably going to do it eventually, but I certainly wouldn't want to be the first one. It's just too much radiation. Space is full of it. That's what nobody really gets. Whoa. Whoa, okay, that's a worm. Right, that's one of the space worms. Oh, it's worth it. Ow. <laughs> what are you? Oh. Okay, so infested means... Yeah, I had a pet like this, similar to this. Not this exactly... Um, in my other playthrough. They're like these robot critters. So these have been around for a while. Oh, these are the walking... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these are like the walking buildings you can get, and you can ride around on these guys. Alright, so these are new. Yeah, they never had anything like this. So we can offer you... Well, we don't have any food. We gotta make some food. Oh, you offer ion battery. Do we want him? Yeah, can we? Offered. I think I did it. Did I scare him too much first? Did we offer him another one? Did he even take it? I don't think he even took it. Alright, well, let's get to scanning a little bit more stuff. Is that why I was even here? Why the heck am I even here? <laughs> I don't even know. I just wanted to land on the place and see what it was like. It's a little interesting. Oh, what's over there? Is it just more of these things, but bigger? Kind of what it looks like, isn't it? Whoops, wrong button. Eh, yeah, I think it's these things, but bigger. Oh, the whispering eggs are here. Where are they at? Over there. Yeah, there's some planets that have them just dotted around. 
These ones are almost easier because you don't have to deal with as many of those people, or not people, the things that pop up. Get the critters. So, I don't know. But they still pop up and you have to... They're tough. It's best to just run away. That's what I usually do, and especially in the beginning. I mean, once you get your weapon up, you know, you can beat them. But they take a lot of damage. That's it. There's just these guys and those other big guys. I just wasted two ion batteries on that one, too. They really eat ion batteries? I guess they are robots. Or mechanical sort of critters. There he is. So maybe... Is that the same one? I don't even know. Does it really matter? I should probably recharge before I'm not thinking about it and end up dying. Oh, I should have gone with condensed carbon. Yeah, hazard protection, sodium. Yeah, we just got a ton of sodium. All right, you. Um, so do we have to go to the front of him? Is that the issue? I was offering it to his butt. That might be it. So we have to get in front of him. Which is the front? He's walking this way. So I think this must be the front of him. Mm. Is he walking this way? Offer. Yeah. Do you, do you want it? Doesn't seem to want it. Yeah. No, he doesn't want it. How do we get him to want it? Have we scanned him? We have scanned him. We have not scanned these ones. I totally saw it. I thought I scanned those. Alright. What do you have cadmium magnetized ferrite? Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to go build us how far is our ship? Is hundred. Not too far. Alright, yeah, we need to go build us a new drive for one. Um yeah, these egg things. Anytime there's an egg thing like that, you know that there's gonna be those whispering eggs on the planet. At least in my experience. Like that egg structure plant structure sort of looking thing, but it looks like an egg. Yeah, that. There's anytime there's structures like that on the planet, I found those yeah, the whispering eggs. Oh we can scan it. Yeah, they are just like regular plants. But whatever planets have the whispering eggs spawn egg sort of flora. Right, yeah, flora. Flora is plants, fauna is animals. Alright, yeah, out of here. We need a space station or something, but there's no space stations in cadmium systems. That's the other thing. We need, you know, a system. I'm assuming, if I recall correctly, that cadmium and emerald and indium systems, none of them have space stations, I'm pretty sure. I mean, what was I even talking about? It was such a long flight. Oh, crap. I don't know why I thought that was a door. <laughs> I thought I was still on autopilot for some reason. Where's the door anyway? Uh, it's on one side. How do you find it? Like something with those, the circles. They show you. But yeah, it's this side it looks like. Ugh. Sorry, that made me sick even. Ooh, that's the one problem with space flight. I need a, a joystick instead of just a mouse. Mouse is, I don't know. Although a joystick would be equally troublesome. I haven't used a joystick in so long. <laughs> I guess for VR it would be really useful. One day I'll get into VR. It's just too expensive and, I don't know, so few games warrant it that I just can't justify the cost. So, I think with that, I don't know, I'm starting to be pretty nonsensical. So I think we might just go ahead and end this episode here because it's getting over an hour I believe at this point <laughs> I don't even know like I said I was on for like four hours setting up those mines yesterday so I do hope you enjoyed this episode if you did click that like button I know I was a bit all over the place but hopefully <laughs> it was entertaining and we got milestones out of the way we got our mines and some people got way more customization than I get and yeah, we're on our way to... We got our new multi-tool. Yeah, so we're, we're rocking and rolling. 
So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.